So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to store this in a variable called exists. I'm going to say exists. And then I'm going to check. I'm going to use if, sta if statement to check if, it, if it's true or false. So I'm going to say if it, if it exists, then we need to tell the user, tell user that it has been booked by somebody else. Else, else we need to uh, book that appointment. So to, to uh, tell the user that it has been booked by somebody else, we can use the uh, flash message. So I'm going to say here session and then flash flash and then message and then the message. I'm going to say appointment was booked was already booked was already taken or booked and uh, we need to import the session class at the top we need to say use illuminate use illuminate support facades and then uh, sub, uh, and then uh, sessions session not sessions session just singular and then we need here to uh, use again the session I'm gonna say session and then I'm gonna say flash and I'm gonna give flash and then I'm gonna give this message a red color I'm gonna say alert class and then alert danger this is gonna give the message a, uh, a red color and then I'm gonna just say return to the home page I'm gonna say return redirect to the home page which is the forward slash this is in case the the session the uh, the appointment has been booked if it hasn't been booked then we need to book book this appointment so to book the appointment what we need to do is that we need to create a new a new uh, a new booking I'm gonna say new booking and it's gonna be equal to I'm gonna store it in a variable called booking and then we need to fill the booking with information so we need to get the information from the from the uh, remember from here we need to get the information the appointment ID the name and the date so I'm gonna say booking booking uh, appointment ID appoint meant ID is gonna be equal to the appointment ID appointment ID for the for the uh, booking for the uh, name and the date I'm gonna say booking department the uh, department name is gonna be equal to the department name and then we also need to say booking and then department uh, appointment date appointment date is gonna be equal to the appointment date finally we need to remember the booking has the user ID and the username how can we get the username and the user ID well it's very very important and very easy as well to get the to get the username and the user ID we need to use the authentication class so I'm gonna say here I'm gonna say booking user name is gonna be equal to the auth user user ID user ID this is gonna get me the uh, actually here name this is gonna get me the name for the ID we need to say auth booking first booking and then uh, user ID is gonna be equal to the auth user ID and finally we need to say booking save 
we need to save that. We need to insert that into the database. Booking save. And we need to import the authentication class. So at the top, at the top, we need to say use illuminate support facades authentication auth. This is very important. You need to import this auth class at the top. And now we are good to go. The, the last thing that we need to do before we um, before we 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 before we uh, end this, we need to copy this session, and then the, these three lines. We need to copy these three lines, and then we need to paste them here, and then we need to tell the user here. Tell user that the ap appointment appointment was booked. So I'm going to say here appointment booked. successfully and here the class is going to be success and then we redirect to the home to the home page there is no problem with this so now let me save everything and uh, before we test we need to uh, we need to in the web we we need to add something very very important because if we don't add it it's not gonna work which is Preventing the user from going to the to the uh, uh, from going to the book appointment route unless they are already logged in because if they are not logged in it's not going to work and you are going to get an error you are definitely going to get an error if this if you don't add this so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to add I'm going to say here middleware auth middleware auth what this does is that it is going to prevent uh, users who are not registered and who did not log in from making an appointment. So if you are not logged in, you cannot make an appointment. Similarly, for showing the appointments, I think it's better to say for showing the, uh, the appointments, you can say middleware and then auth, which means that only logged in users will be able to see the appointments. Let me now save and let me uh, head on over to the browser to test. So I'm going to refresh here. And if I refresh, I'm not. Let me go back and let me refresh. If I click on show appointments, it is not going to work because I'm not logged in. So as you can see, it's going to take me to the login page because I'm not logged in. So this is how it's going to work. So. I'm going to click again on uh, show appointments. If you click on it, it's going to take me to the login page because I need to log in first before I will be able to, uh, to make an appointment.